We are protesting for the recognition of the Armenian Genocide and to teach history in regards to the Armenian Genocide and other genocides. It's called the State of Denial Protest. It's the fourth year we're doing this across a lot of UC and CSU campuses. It's hosted by the All ASA. And each ASA chapter, Armenian Student Association chapter, does the paperwork, does the planning, and gets the manpower out here. And it's essentially a silent protest, which goes, which is the opposite of what we've been doing as a community for a very long time. And our theme this year is 100 years, 100 protesters, our voices will echo. The job point of this is to spread awareness, awareness to all other nations, all other community members of CSUN and Armenian, non-Armenian about our message. You see, there's even non-Armenians who take part in this protest and the point is to just educate, enlighten and motivate and pretty much it's a human rights issue. So I, we all stand to come firmly with this matter. And, uh, just to add to what my colleagues here said, it's to raise awareness outside April and April 24th. Um, and we're very glad that we have such a strong response, as you guys can see, it's such a strong response this year, and we hope to grow every single year. And this isn't, this, like, like Dikron said, this isn't just about our own genocide, it's also about the genocides of the world and how we have to stop them from continuing. This, we have to end the cycle of genocide. We want people to stop, ask questions, and educate themselves about what happened a hundred years ago. Because a crime unpunished is a crime that will never be forgotten. And we want everyone to be here to ask questions, ask about Armenia, about the Armenian Genocide, about what Turkey did a hundred years ago to 1.5 million Armenians. Personally, I'm very involved in the Armenian community, and it's very sad to see that my ancestors haven't gotten the recognition that they deserve. The atrocities and what happened a hundred years ago should be, should they should, <laughs> it's just so sad to see what happened and Turkey has not recognized it, the US hasn't recognized it and it's very wrong and we should continue to advocate and make our voices heard and one of the one of the things we have today, one of the posters we have is our voices will echo and I believe our voices will echo because if everyone makes a difference then I think the US and Turkey will come to their senses one day.